USA, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I, I feel I, ha I have to do it on a day like this. It's, it's the 4th of July. I, I have to. Man, I love the 4th of July. I'm wearing red, white, and blue. My belt's white, see? And, uh, yeah. I'm up here celebrating the 4th of July. Man, I love the 4th of July, man. I cannot tell you... I'm pretty sure my entire life... Where... I... Seriously, I'm so excited. I'm losing my train of thought as we speak. No. Um... My entire life... We've always come up here on the 4th of July... And never once were we not surrounded by family or food or whatever. Today's going to be a great day. I'm positive it's going to be a great day. I mean, I mean, look how gorgeous it is out there. Nice and calm. You see people fishing out there. You know, you can hear the sounds of nature. When I'm not talking anyway. Um, right. They seriously run another spider web? Man. Spider webs are I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I know why we need spiders, so they can get all the uh, other critters that fly around night like moths and mosquitoes and all the other things that all the other creepy crawlies that we don't like. But like I keep running into spider webs a lot. I think I I think there's a spider web a spider web on my leg. There's a spider web right on this ladder. See that? Look at that. That's spider web. Can, can you see okay? Oh. Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay. Let me back up a little bit. Sorry, I can never see where I am when I'm when the camera isn't facing me. But, uh, yeah, you can clearly see a spider web on, like, uh, like the, the two sides of the ladder right there. Anyway, um... I guess my low for yesterday was how sporadic the weather was, which, yeah, it was. It was pretty. It was pretty sporadic. Like it started off pretty awful, as you remember, and then it just got back to gorgeous, almost to the point where it was kind of getting too hot out. And then, you know, nightfall comes, and I think we got rain. I th I want to say we got rain. It looks like we got some rain. Not bad though, but you know, maybe maybe it's just like really it is a lot of morning dew or something. Which I'm not gonna lie, morning dew actually sounds a lot more appealing than rain. It's always so pristine, and when it's when it's sunny out and you see morning dew, it always makes it so shiny. And as we all know, shiny things are nice. Um, unless unless it's like directly in the sun, directly into the sun, that is that, that is not good. You would, you'd be burned up before you even got there. Um, okay, so, yeah, my love was kind of how the sporadic the weather's been, but I'm really hoping we're going to be okay. Actually, Seaweed Watch 2021. Seriously, it's like there's more and more every week. I remember when I used to fear you. I do not fear it anymore. <laughs> I have, seriously, I have day 550 to prove it. I'll never forget that day. Anyway, um, I'm getting sidetracked. Actually, huh. Day 550 was literally two years ago. Like, literally two years ago. Seriously. Like, it was on July 4th, 2019, which was day 550. And it's July 4th today, 2021. So, yeah, I'm... I'd say that's pretty cool. Amazing what happened. Well, maybe it's because I've been doing days every day for actually. You know, I'll, I'll get into my thought after I do my act of kindness. Um, my high was I got to have a nice, you know, dinner and uh, a church and dinner with uh, my father and my mother. It was very wonderful. We all went to the antique inn. It was great. I actually turned my father on to the prime rib at the antique inn. He orders the petite, I order the queen. But he still really likes it, which is cool. My mother had, um, her favorite dish at the antique inn is, like, a, the uh, garlic butter haddock, which I've sampled it before. It's really good. It really is good. I mean, 
if you like garlic and you like butter, which, let's be honest, who doesn't? You know, you're in the clear. You know, it's, it's great. Um, what else happened? Oh, another cool thing. Uh, my father and I watched the Bucks win last night. So, it's kind of, I mean, I was kind of expecting the Bucks to win this series. So, yeah, we have the uh, the Bucks and the Suns. That would be, that would be really wonderful. And, um... My act of kindness was, I mean, I've been helping my family prepare for today since I got here. But, again, I've been doing that. You know, I uh, help my mom take stuff, some furniture out. You know, I'm going to help decorate a little bit later today. You know, I think we're golden. So, uh, with that said, good morning. Happy Sunday, everyone. Anyways, I was saying before I did my act of kindness. It really is amazing like, just how different things are just after two... I mean, yeah, I know, two years is a pretty long time. But it really is can be shocking just how, like, different things were. I mean, two years ago when I did Day 550, for instance, you know, well, to be honest, I planned that day to be a really big day because not only was it the 4th of July, but it was also the day that... um I revealed the main course on my full course menu of life. And it was also the day I jumped in the lake, grabbed out a bunch of seaweed, and had, therefore had video evidence that I'm not afraid of seaweed anymore because I, because I am a grown man, as we all know. <laughs> and just a year later, in fact, I'm pretty sure it was today. No, it was... I want to say it was maybe tomorrow... A year ago, a year ago tomorrow, when I started doing my low, my high, my act of kindness. And now we're here at Cuca Lake two years later. And actually, 4th of July 2018, I did that video. That was day 185, I think. Yeah, it was 185. When... I did oh, the Overlook on Harris Hill. That was a big day, too. So, I guess I'm not really trying. I'm making, you know, 4th of July videos pretty pretty special. Either right, representing the American flag or, you know, doing something momentous occasion, showing you a great view. Well, just take a look at the view behind me. That's pretty good, right? Um, so... It just goes, it really is making me wonder, you know, just how different things will be in another two years. I mean, let's be honest, we're in the middle of a pandemic, even though we're at the starting to the tail end of the pandemic. And things would be a lot different and a lot better if, you know, the pandemic never happened. But in spite of everything that has happened, you know, I'm thankful that, you know, I made it this far. I mean, I didn't even talk about this on Friday, but it has been, as of Friday, it was two and a half full calendar years since I started doing, oh, three, three and a half full calendar years, excuse me, three and a half full calendar years since I started making videos. So... I'm really glad, I'm really grateful I made it this far. And, you know, just in this year alone, you know, I often hear stuff where, you know, I ponder, you know, the what ifs, you know, or what happens, or, you know, who's there, those sorts of things. The big questions in life. And, well, actually, who's there really wasn't a very good question to ask. Unless I'm asking myself, who am I looking at on the camera? Which is me. So, answer that question right away. It never really occurred to me that, like, you know, two and a half, three and a half years ago, I really would be doing this. In fact, if, you know, it actually is kind of funny. I don't think I've ever said this before. But a week prior to the start of 2018, like literally in December of 2017, if you had told me that 
starting from January 1st on 2018, and even up till now, I'd be making a video every single day. I really wouldn't have believed you. I mean, I it's been a while since I've shared this story, but you know, this really started off on a New Year's resolution. And it's a New Year's resolution that's been going ever since. And I like to think that my life is a lot richer now because of this. I mean, to be honest, I've always wanted to entertain people. I've always wanted to, you know, get out there, be on social media a lot more, be better about that sort of thing. And on that front, I love to say I've succeeded. I mean, let's be honest, you see all sorts of YouTubers out there that are like rich and famous and you know they have like like big bombastic videos that are crazier than mine they have like a team of some some of you have a team of writers editors planners you know you name it it happens i don't have any of that i don't even know how to edit anything really like the only editing trick i know how to do is if i screw up on something i'll just start the video over that's a little, that's, if you want to call that any, that's how, that's how pathetic it is. So, considering that I'm here now, I think I can look upon what my New Year's resolution was at the beginning of this year, I suppose. Just because, you know, I have been sort of, I mean, it's been a while since I've really thought about a New Year's resolution of this year, but... I remember solely one of them being being close with family a lot more. And I definitely have done that. I mean, I'm about to see my family today. A whole lot of my family. It's gonna be some people I haven't even seen since like like November. So it's been a while, for sure. I'm looking forward to that. Um definitely keep in touch with people. Remember that manners matter. And you know, just keep that focus till, you know, whatever. I mean, again, my New Year's resolution really could have been a lot better if it was with the fact that, you know, the pandemic never happened because my New Year's resolution was originally going to be, you know, go out there a lot more and do stuff, but, you know, I can't. And, yes, I'm, I'm, I, I want to make one thing clear. I am 100% vaccinated. I am. So... You know, by all accounts, technically I can go out, but I never really want to risk it. In fact, I literally just heard the other day of how some person actually was fully vaccinated from COVID and they recently died. Or, either they died or they just got it. I forget. But, you know, the fact that, you know, even that happens, you know, it's still, still cause for concern. So, nothing really... Nothing really I can do about that. <sighs> Man, it's so peaceful out here. You know? Um, in terms of what my family is having today, um, we're going to be doing uh, traditional burgers, hot dogs, sausage, peppers, and onions. We're going to do a whole bunch of hors d'oeuvres. Um, my grandma is actually bringing up stuffed shells from uh, Sorge's. So that's gonna be really good. My uh, cousin is bringing up um, her mother's or my great aunt's legendary recipe for, oh, well, here's the thing. My great aunt's recipe for Sloppy Joe's is legendary. And my cousin, her daughter, thought it'd be a great idea to mix her Sloppy Joe recipe with baked beans. Henceforth, they are called Sloppy Beans. I'm just saying this right now. And for the record, this is not a mom food crock or anything. I just wanted to point this out. Whenever I go to barbecues or anything like that, I never go for stuff like beans. In fact, honestly, if we're ever like a, a taco bar, if I'm ever like a, like a taco bar or something like that, or my family's having Mexican surprise, I never, when my family on my mother's side, when they come up here and they have Mexican surprise, I never go for the refried beans. I never, ever, ever go for the beans. When I tell you that the sloppy beans are the best baked beans I've ever had, I'm not kidding. They really are that good. And I'm looking forward to having them today. Looking forward to having lots of desserts, food, 
You know, being surrounded by family, sunshine. Hopefully the sunshine lasts. It's pretty nice out right now. I think it'll last a, a good while. I think. And, um, yeah. Anyway, I think I'll wrap this up in a minute or two. Just thinking about what else I could talk about. I mean, I do gotta help my mom out later today with preparing everything. And my dad too, but my dad's lazy. He doesn't really like to help. Don't get me wrong, I'm not really the biggest fan of doing this either, but you know, when you entertain, sacrifices gotta be made. And I really love entertaining. I mean, again, maybe one day I'll become big and rich and famous doing these YouTube videos. And then, you know, I'll invite a whole bunch of people and I'll have to suffer the consequences of preparing for the entertainment. But until then, I'm just me. A lone guy standing at the edge of a dock at Cuca Lake with a fantastic view in the background and enjoying the sunshine and just enjoying my day. Okay, that's too much sunshine. Too much sunshine. Too much sunshine. Okay, we're good. <laughs> anyway, like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social media, I'm on vacation YouTube. I'm very humble in this video for all of you guys who watched and enjoyed for today. I'm hoping you have a wonderful, wonderful 4th of July. And remember, or if you don't celebrate 4th of July, you know, I hope you have a wonderful day anyway. And remember, you guys want to talk to channel, going to be here to London here. I'll always serve back. Take care and make good choices. Okay, I'll do it again. USA, 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 USA. Yeah. Okay, we're good. See ya. Actually, you know what? Okay, I like to see you a lot better.